Why is the battery in my caliper dead if I didn't use it? If that question sounds familiar to you, you're in the right place. Here we go. Welcome to another episode of the Clueless Dudes Real Tool Reviews. Today, I'm not really reviewing a tool as much as going over a problem that a lot of DIYers run into if you use an inexpensive digital caliper, and it's this. Let's say you only use a caliper, let's say once a month or maybe three or four or five times a year, and every time you go to use it, the battery's dead and you're wondering, hey, my watch battery lasts for years and years. Why is the caliper battery dead if it's just sitting there in the off position for, let's say, six or seven months? Well, I think I found out why, and we'll take a look at it right now. Here we go. If you're like me and you only use a caliper every now and then, maybe sometimes when you go to use it, the battery's dead. Well, let's think about that for a second. First, let's take a look at this caliper. When I turn it on, well, it turns on. If I turn it off, it goes off. And if I move the jaws while it's off, nothing happens. Let's take a look at this caliper. This one, as you can guess, has an on-off switch. When I turn it on, well, it's on. And when I turn it off, well, is it off? That is the question. If I go ahead and move the jaws, you'll see it turns itself on. And I would have noticed this with this one, even if I don't use this caliper, even if I leave it off, after about six, seven, eight months, the battery seems to be dead. Whereas this one, I haven't changed the battery in probably two or three years, and it's still running fine. So why is that? I got curious, so I decided, let me make a test machine and see what's going on, and why this one seems to run for years on the battery, and this one, with occasional use, seems to have the battery die after, well, definitely less than a year. All right, guys, let's go. Up next, we're going to look at the battery drain when the caliper is turned off, and we're going to compare two different calipers. One where the caliper stays off if you move the jaws, and the other one where the caliper automatically turns on if you move the jaws. All right, guys, here we go. I have here, well, I have a caliper with the battery removed. The battery down here is actually powering the caliper. The electricity goes through this black wire, through to the caliper, into the caliper, out of the caliper, through the red wire, to this amp meter, and from the amp meter, back to the battery. This allows us to see how many amps the caliper is drawing off the battery. The higher the amps, the faster the draw, and the quicker the battery goes dead. So right now we're drawing very roughly 15 microamps of electricity. If I turn this caliper off, as you probably have guessed, the draw goes down to almost nothing, 0.2 microamps. And that is so low, it's not gonna drain the battery in any significant way, even over the course of a year. So why am I showing you this? Because this is one of the calipers that does not turn itself on if the jaws are moved. So, as a result, when this is off, it is really off. I can go here and I can separate the jaws and you can see the caliper stayed off and nothing happened. And we're still at, well, 0.2 microamps. Again, essentially zero. What's gonna happen though? I'm gonna try the same test with one of the calipers that turns on automatically when you move the jaws and we'll see how much electricity it's using even when it's quote unquote turned off. All right guys, here we go. Here I have the Pittsburgh caliper and it is one of the ones that if you move the jaws, as you can see, it turns itself on. And you can see right now it's drawing about 18 and a half, 17 and a half, right around there, microamps. But the question is, what happens when I shut it off? Well, if I shut this one off, let's see what happens. The display is off. And, hey, take a look at that. It is still drawing eh, 16, 17 microamps. So in other words, even though it's off, it doesn't seem to be really off. It's still drawing more or less the same amount of electricity. If I turn it back on, you can see there's a short jump, but it's consistently in the 17, 18, 19 microamp range. And again, I shut it off and it stays more or less the same. Let's recap what we just looked at. The HyperTuff, when it's running, is using about 15 microamps of electricity. And the Pittsburgh is using about 18. They're more or less close enough to call them the same. But it's when they're turned off, you see the massive difference. The HyperTuff goes down to 0.2 microamps, which will not drain your battery in any kind of noticeable way. But the Pittsburgh is still running more or less at the same 17 microamps, which will drain your battery over six months or a year. So what is the advantage? In other words, why did the engineers decide to keep it running? Well, there's two answers. One is it's an economy caliper where they're trying to put in some features the HyperTuff does not have. Specifically, if we take the HyperTuff and we go measure something, hit the zero button, close the jaws down, turn it off and on, you'll see that the HyperTuff does not remember where it was when it got turned off. The Pittsburgh, on the other hand, if you measure something, hit the zero point, close the jaws, and select it on and off, you can see the Pittsburgh does remember the value. And that's the main difference between the two. And I believe, but not 100% certain, why the HyperTuff is able to basically not drain your batteries when it's off because, well, it's not doing anything, whereas the Pittsburgh is remembering its last zero point. All right, guys, let's keep going. 
I want to stress that the stuff I showed in this video is based on testing that I've done on only five calipers. Two that turn off completely, that is when you move the jaws, they do not turn on automatically and both of those drew about 0.2 microamps as shown. And then three calipers that do turn on automatically and remember the zero point and they drew between about 0.15 and 0.20 microamps, so more or less the same as what's shown. I point that out because I didn't test a lot of different calipers. I didn't buy 50 calipers and try them. And I also most definitely did not buy any expensive calipers. If you have a higher end caliper, my guess is it's going to remember the zero point, turn on automatically, and not drain your battery massively and needlessly. So I'm just guessing this only applies to the economy calipers that I'm testing and not to higher end ones. I'll let other people in the comments if they have high end calipers, feel free to comment and uh, let us know what you see. I hope this helped you and again, the main point here isn't to say one is better than the other, it's to help you understand the difference and so that you can decide which one is right for you. The two that were in this video were the Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight, and that's the one that does drain the battery, but does remember the zero point. And the other one was the HyperTuff from Walmart, and that's the one that does turn off completely, but does not remember the zero point. Another thing I want to point out is the Pittsburgh is also better built. It's made out of metal. It's got a lock on it. It's got a wheel on the bottom to help you move it smoothly. The HyperTuff is very, very basic, but works very well. And again, just because the battery doesn't get drained from it, I leave the battery in it. And since the battery's in it, it is the caliper I use most. So as a result, despite the fact the HyperTuff is one of the cheaper ones that I own and kind of plasticky and not super fancy, it's the one I use the most because I can safely leave the battery in it. All right, guys, I hope this helped. And if it did, uh, please hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It apparently makes me better looking or something. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later and I uh, hope you're all doing great. Bye bye. Here's another solution to the battery problem with calipers. This one was only about $8 and hasn't eaten a single battery yet.